Way hi and welcome to Johnny Land 1892. I'll tell you what, eight games unbeaten now. Uh, beating Brighton the day 2 1 at St James's Park. Absolutely fantastic. I'm overjoyed. I'll tell you what, let's get into it. <laughs> Aye, so Newcastle United win 2-1 today, uh, like I say, eight games unbeaten, um, absolutely fantastic, um, it was a bit of a nail biter, um, first 10 minutes, you know, they were all over us, um, but you know, Ryan Fraser did have a good chance at about two minutes, um, he smashed one at the keeper, um, Martinez, and um, you know he gathered it quite well um but it was a bit scary the game to be fair um newcastle um in in basically the 12th minute um it was cucarella who lost the ball for brighton in the middle of the park and wood plays a fabulous ball to um murphy and Murphy off he goes and he's 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 oh he's running into space there and he chips the ball over and uh, it you think it's a goal and it, it clatters the post, it bounces out, but Ryan Fraser is there to rifle it in and that's one nil to Newcastle. Now literally two minutes later uh, we get a free kick and uh, yet again Ryan Fraser uh, great cross in, he whips a ball in and Fabian Shea is there to bullet header it into the back of the net. No chance for the keeper. Um, absolutely great, you know, 2 nil up after literally two minutes. And, um, you know, to be fair, they actually had more possession, more of the ball. Uh, I think shots on target were about the same, four and four. Uh, but they definitely had more shots um, and like I say more possession uh, it was like I say nail biting um, a nail biting game uh, it was quite close it was very close um, and, it, and, it, and after the first half really you know they, they again had loads of possession um, and, and they had their chances they had their chances but they didn't finish them um, until about the 55th minute and uh, Lewis Dunk, um, he scores in the 55th minute, which made tensions run higher at St. James's Park. But you know what it is? Um, tremendous performance. They stuck together and uh, they thrashed it out. And the final whistle went and, and we've won 2-1. Now, the thing is, um, Newcastle have never really had a great time of it with uh, Brighton. In, in the Premier League, um, you know we've we've this was the tenth time we've met them uh, in in the Premier League, and in that time we've never beaten them. We've never beaten Brighton Hove Albion uh, in the Premier League uh, until today. So nine times prior, you know, we we never got three points. Um, we've drawn against them, but we we haven't beaten them. Um, so this was a massive thorn plucked out of our side we broke the duck today um which is great you know um brighton i think well i think the first time we've ever played brighton was about 1930 uh we played them in the fa cup um we beat them three nil and uh, the next time after that we met them was uh 1961 uh, which was, I mean, 31 years later in Division 2. And we beat them 5-0 that day. Throughout the years, we've played them in the second division and we've had more luck. But in the Premiership, it's been a nightmare against this team. But, you know, it just shows you things are absolutely turning the corner for Newcastle United. Um, seven points away from relegation now. Um, I mean, if you had told me this... 10 games ago, I wouldn't have believed you. I would have thought uh, you need to be carted off to the nutty house. But uh, hey, I tell you what, it's 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 happening and uh, I'm loving it. I'm overjoyed with the way things are going at the moment for Newcastle United. 
you know it's funny uh when i think back uh i i look at this at the moment like it's 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 a new dawn for newcastle united um a new alba and um i mean i i was thinking back uh in the 93-94 season when we first joined the Premier League when we first got to play in the Premier League obviously Newcastle United had been in the top flight which was the old first division but um, the Premier League had been going since 91 and uh, eventually Newcastle got their chance in it in the 93-94 season and uh, I remember that eight game unbeaten run then and uh, that was marvellous and you know I want to think back um, I mean Andy Cole uh, scoring 41 goals in all competitions I think 34 in the league uh, that was an amazing season and uh, Kevin Keegan did an absolutely brilliant job uh, that that particular season uh, Man United won the league Blackburn Rovers were second and we finished third and our first ever out in, in the Premier League. Uh, it just, I don't know, it, it, I mean, I'm not saying that we're gonna finish for third, obviously, in this in this season, but um, it just kind of reminded me of that new, you know, the, the, the new outlook. And, uh, you know, Newcastle United, after that season, were, were deemed the entertainers, they were named the entertainers. And uh, I think, you know, if if we keep going the way we are at the moment uh next season we could be entertaining again uh in a big way uh, especially with some good summer signings as well um just 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 a daft thought you know uh that came to my head you know you reminisce and you think back but it was the the thing that that did that was the eight games in a row that i can remember uh unbeaten the last few games that we've played, uh, I think when we've won, it's been a bit easier than it was today. I think we rode our luck a little bit today. I thought Brighton were a bit unlucky, to be fair. Um, but I'll take it. I'll take that result and I'll take them three points uh, gladly. Um, I did predict 2 1. I did. Um, I think I wrote it on uh, PD's Proud Locks uh, channel. Shout out to him and uh, the tune review as well uh, I think I wrote a message on there I don't know why but I had a dream about uh, it being 2-1 uh, earlier in the week and I kind of stuck with it uh, not all of my dreams come true obviously uh, but you know um, when we were 2-0 up uh, I did I did hope that we were gonna um, make better advantage from that and I, I was hoping we were gonna score a few more but uh, being a Newcastle United supporter is always, uh, you know, um, squeaky bum time really, isn't it? Um, but honestly, the lads did absolutely fantastic the day. Resilience, you know, uh, played for each other. Uh, hey, I tell you what, it's absolutely great to be a Newcastle supporter at the minute. Um, after all the dross and all the crap we've had to suffer for years, um, it finally seems like um, we're going somewhere uh, which you know for many years I just thought we were going nowhere uh, and we we were in that situation we were going nowhere uh, but this is a crossroads today uh, moving further away from relegation which is absolutely fabulous on Thursday night, we've got Southampton. We're playing them down at the St. Mary's Stadium. And uh, that is another massive game. All of these games are huge, massive. I keep saying it. Um, I mean, if we can get three points there on Thursday night, and I don't see why we can't, because, you know, Southampton uh, got rumbled by uh, Aston Villa today. Um, and you know Southampton were in really good form um, I think I believe they were um, second in the Premier League on the form it turns out that at the moment 
Um, the run of form in the Premier League is Liverpool are first and Newcastle United are second. The way it stood in the last eight games anyway. Um, I don't see why we can't get three points down there. Um, I'd be happy even if we got a draw down there, but it would be great. It would be nice to get another win. Um, try and take us further away and further away from that horrible relegation battle. Uh, you know, yet again, Leeds got beat today. Um, they were beaten 1-0. Um, they have a new manager. And uh, I think, you know... Um, it's it's we're, we're we're escaping from this we're escaping and uh all i can say is i believe that we would get out of it but not quite like this not quite like in the way we're doing it um obviously in the southampton game on thursday i would think alan san maximum would be back starting and uh you know also uh manquillo is in contention as well for a place even though i think emil Kraf did very very well today um the the way i look at the moment uh the team are buzzing with confidence and that is a fantastic thing to see joyful joyful um anyway that was just my thoughts on the game today uh, I will be back with another video very soon and um, thanks for watching uh, like if you like share if you share and oh by the way just a shout out to the 100% um, mags and um, I know it was his birthday today and uh, he asked for a birthday present for Newcastle United to get three points today happy birthday and uh, you got your wish it came true um, so from me, Geordie Land 8092, hey, look after yourselves and uh, all the best and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.